Hey everybody, it's Ron Henry Satus. I'm going to show you how to make Mongolian lamb. Let's get straight into it. So guys, just in front of me here, I've got half a kilo of lamb backstrap. I've already cleaned it up and deveined it. I find that lamb backstrap works the best for most dishes, so use that. If not, you can use any part of the lamb. Now with our backstrap, we just need to slice it into strips. Just like so. Now you don't want to go like paper thin, but you don't want to go too thick. Just like that, almost half a centimeter. So just continue cutting all your lamb. So your lamb should end up looking something like that. So we'll set that aside. And we're going to bring across two green capsicums. Just slice those. Take out any seeds. And we just want to slice these as well. So once again, don't go too thin, don't go too thick. And we'll set that aside too. Now we'll bring across one brown onion, slice through the middle, and we just want to dice it. You want to go a bit coarse with the onion. Just like so. So guys, we're going to go to our wok now, and we're going to add in 3 tablespoons of peanut oil. Now we're going to start by adding our capsicum in, as well as our onion. We'll also add in two crushed garlic cloves, and one tablespoon of fresh ginger. Make sure you constantly stir or toss your wok. Now we'll add our lamb straight in. Add a pinch of salt. And some freshly cracked pepper. So guys, we just want to cook this for about a minute or two until all our meat has brown. So make sure you're staying at a higher heat. So guys, once your meat has brown, we're going to add about half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. About one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. This is basically Chinese barbecue sauce. 2 tablespoons of rice wine vinegar About 3 tablespoons of soy sauce Now that's just regular soy sauce, not sweeten We'll pop that here as well And finally we're going to add about 2 tablespoons of sweet chilli sauce Now I'll have to add about 1 teaspoon of brown sugar in not too much as we are using sweet chilli sauce and we just want to let this cook now for about one minute and then we're ready to serve so ensure you are staying on a high heat alright guys so turn your heat off by now your sauce should have thickened up so we're ready to serve alright guys so let's serve We definitely don't want to waste any of our beautiful sauce. So guys, that's all there is to it. As you can tell, I personally don't like mixing the rice and the actual stir fry together. So some people do serve it like that. I prefer not to, I just have a phobia of food touching each other, which a lot of people do surprisingly. But other than that, we'll just garnish it with some sesame seeds. And that's ready to be served. Simple as that, didn't take long at all. I hope you liked that guys, please like and subscribe, if you've got any comments or suggestions just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.